Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to my course Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. <clears throat> In the last lecture, I tried to cover uh, the problems on uh, this enzymatic reaction. I tried to find out that uh, what, is the, what is the time required for the conversion of the substrate or how, how, much, uh, how, how much time required for a different percentage of substrate conversion. Then we try to uh, find out that what is the effect of uh, inhibitors on the enzymatic reaction, particularly how mm, how it is interact with the with the enzymes and how substrate enzyme interaction that differs with respect to inhibitors. And then finally, I also try to discuss that uh, uh, that uh, how uh, pesticide concentration complex organic molecule like pesticide that how it can be determined with the help of enzymatic reaction. Now uh, this uh, lecture, uh, this is a very important lecture. The reason is that I told you that uh, one of the important aspects of this uh, chemical or biochemical engineering that we, uh, we at the end we should try to find out for certain conversion of substrate what is the what is the volume of the reactor suppose we are working with a particular industry and industry they are targeting for certain amount of product formation and for getting certain amount of product that uh, what is the what is the volume of the of the uh, reactors now the in one of my lectures i try to uh, solve similar type of problems with, with respect to glucose to fructose conversion uh, by with the help of glucose isomerase enzyme. But, uh, but you know this the today I want to discuss a special type of problems where uh, substrate is sparingly soluble in, in, in water. As you know the enzymes, enzymatic reaction usually uh, takes place in the aqueous solution. So until unless uh, your substrate is soluble, soluble that enzyme substrate interaction does not take place. So, the solubility that means solubility is a very impo important factor, solubility of the substrate is very important factor and also that uh, cost of the substrate that also a very important factor because uh, suppose uh, if the cost of the substrate is very high, so we always expect our uh, conversion of the substrate should be as high as possible. Now let us go to the problem. Now uh, the D minus hydroxy phenyl glycine, this is the complex molecules, is a optically active intermediate in the synthesis of broad spectrum antibiotics amoxicillin. We use uh, I think uh, day to day life lot of antibiotics doctor recommends for the curing different type of disease. One am antibiotic is largely used that is amoxicillin. And this intermediate is among other produced from hydantoin derivative by means of enzyme hydantoinase. So hydantoin derivatives uh, that is uh, the, the name of the compounds substrate. The hydantoin derivative is poorly soluble in water about 1 kg per cubic meter. So, their hydantoin derivatives is very poorly soluble in water and so the price of the substrate is cost determining and the degree of conversion should therefore be as high as at least 99 percent. The cost of the substrate is very high. So, we expect the, 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 the main purpose of uh, this enzymatic reaction to get higher conversion efficiency as high as 99 percent. To calculate the volume needed to produce 100 kg of product per day, 100 kg of product per day by hydantoinase in batch process 
CSTR and plug flow reactor. So three different reactors, they, you have to find out that batch. And, and this particular problem also help you for finding out which reactor you will recommend for this particular process. Because they know that if, if when you do the calculation, you find out that which reactor the size will be minimum. And your, your design criteria should be, one of the design criteria should be the minimum size of the reactor. Why minimum size of the reactor? Because if the size of the reactor is minimum, then the cost involvement in the process also will be minimum. Now, different kinetic constants are given, like Michaelis maintained kinetics, Vmax is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg per second per cubic meter biocatalyst, KM value is given, Y P by S, Y P by S means uh, P substrate and the and the product by substrate, that means uh, the stoichiometry, this, uh, this uh, indicates the uh, stoichiometry of the process, that means 1 kg of substrate produces 1 kg of product and degree of conversion as we mentioned above this is 99 percent and downtime is 12 hours. The activity of the biocatalyst can be assumed to be constant with time because uh, if, the, if, the, if the activity of the biocatalyst is different with respect to time, differ with respect to time, then it is very difficult, then we shall have to do the integration of that and I shall show you in the next problem how you can solve that. So for the batch process, so what we can do, we know that what is the batch process that we have, we have already know that uh, Tb equal to minus Ds by minus Rs. Okay. So this is exactly what we have written here and this is integrating S0 to S. Now this is the, from the Michaelis maintain equation minus Rs equal to B, this equation, then we can put these values, then we can get this, get this uh, uh, equation that Tb equal to minus 1 by Vmax S0 to S, this uh, came by Ds by S plus Ds. Now, this can be converted in this form. This is excess. What is excess? Excess equal to S0 minus S by S0. This is this excesses. So, if you put this value, you will find the time required for this uh, batch process is coming about 6,753.5 seconds. Now, this is, uh, uh, we can convert into hour, uh, so this is equivalent to 1 point, 1 point uh, 8, 7, 6 hours, am I right? Now, mm, I told you, you can remember that when we, we want to determine the volume of the batch process, first we shall have to find out how much product you have to produce per batch. So, uh, I can, I can, I can, I can show you again. So what I told, in case of batch process, when you find a volume of the batch, first we shall have to find out amount of product to be produced per batch. So, <coughs> but, uh, but when you, when you, when you, when you, uh, in this problem, we target uh, maybe 10 kg of product. The basis, what is the basis 10 kg of product per day? Let us assume that, okay. Now, when you try to find out the batch volume, the, the so we, said we shall have to find out to get this much of product, how many batch you have to operate per day. Because if you know the number of batches to be operated per day, from that we can find out how much product is to be produced per day. Now, if you know how much product is produced per day, then from the stoichiometry you can find out amount of amount of substrate that required per batch. Am I right? Now, once you know amount of substrate required per batch, then if you divide by initial 
substrate concentration, then what you will give? You will get the volume of the reactor. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple. You can find out the volume of the reactor. Am I right? So let us see how we can solve this problem. Now here, here the the total time is coming about thirteen point eight seven six hours. This is the batch time plus downtime. I told you in case of batch process. If there is a time downtime. You have to consider what is downtime. Downtime include the time required to uh, to uh, take out the material after the reaction is over, and then you clean the vessel and also refill the vessel. Because uh, this uh, downtime is very much we consider as the ideal time because during that time no reaction takes place. So this when you try to find out the volume of the reactor reactor, then we shall have to find out. That uh, we shall have to add this downtime with the batch time. So total time that required in the batch process is coming about thirteen point eight seven six hours. The number of batch per day is about one point seven seven three. Am I right? Now how much product we shall have to produce? One one hundred kg. So if you divide by one point seven three, so how much product you have to produce per batch? Fifty seven point Eight kg of product per day batch. Am I right? Now we have we already find out from the stoichiometry one kg of substrate can give one kg of product. Now if it is like this, we can easily say that for the getting this much of uh, uh, product that we required the same amount of substrate. That is fifty seven point eight kg of substrate. But in this problem, in that conversion efficiency. Has been given 99 percent. Am I right? So this is to be divided by 0.99. So actual amount of substrate required that will be 58.4 kg. Now <clears throat> I told you the volume of the reactor. Then what will be equal the the uh, now initial substrate concentration in this problem the initial substrate concentration is not given, but a certain criteria is given. That uh, the, since uh, the, your substrate is very costly, and then they're they're saying that uh, this is the substrate is the that is the limiting factor. So, what we assume the maximum of possible substrate concentration to get the maximum amount of product. Thus, uh, and what do, what will be the maximum amount of substrate concentration? That will be the uh, the solubility of the substrate. Whatever solubility we have, and solubility of the substrate. And the water is about one kg per cubic meter. So, <clears throat> if it is like this, so I can assume the initial substrate concentration is one kg per cubic meter. So, this, if you divide by this, you will get the volume of the batch process. This is how you can easily find out volume of the batch process. Now, let us see how we can find out the Volume of CSTR. Now, in case of volume of CSTR, the tau CSTR, tau CSTR is nothing but the space time of continuous start tank reactor. S zero is the initial substrate concentration minus this minus R S. So this is like this. This here is the S zero and this is the S here is. So here at the under steady state condition, here also S. Am I right? And then. We can write this equation is in this form, and finally we get we can get this uh, this particular expression, and then we put the value of x x a uh, that ninety x a x s is ninety nine percent conversion, and then we find out the tau c s uh, tau c s t r this is equal to tau c s t r value is this, and once you know tau c s t r value. Uh, then we we can we can convert the, the in terms of hour, am I right? Now in this problem uh, that uh, one thing we know tau CSTR is equal to what? Equal to V by F. Am I right? What is F? F is the volumetric flow rate. Now here we shall have to find out the volumetric flow rate. How we can find out? 
how much substrate you are using per day 100 because 100 kg of product per day now for 100 kg of product how much substrate is required 100 kg per day same amount of substrate because this is 1 kg of product produced from 1 kg of substrate the actual amount of substrate required per day will be what 100 divided by 0.99 that is 101.01 kg per day am i right now actual amount of substrate required uh, the, uh, that is uh, this is in day we can convert with respect to hour if you divide by 24 then because one day equal to 24 hours so it is coming about for 4.21 kg per uh, hour now this substrate concentration when we divide by uh, in the initial substrate concentration of substrate now this unit is kg per hour am i right and this is kg per hour and this is kg this is this initial concentration is kg per unit uh, per cubic meter am i right so um, that uh, so kg kg will cancel so this will be becoming cubic meter per hour that uh, this is coming out 4.2 1 cubic meter per hour then now uh, the tau chtr already we find out 2.75 and if you multiply it by it, so v will be equal to tau chtr into f so if you like this we multiply we find out the volume of chtr this is 11.57 cubic meter now let us see in case of uh, plug flow reactor plug flow reactor we can similarly find out the same uh, that uh, uh, um, uh, that you know this tau uh, uh, plug flow reactor will be same as uh, T batch because uh, we know that uh, their expression is same. So uh, both uh, tau plug flow reactor what is the expression we have minus B s by minus R s am I right this is equal to T batch. So since it is uh, it is like this so for the same 99 percent conversion we have the value is uh, same the time requirement will be the same. Now uh, from this we already find out the flow rate in the previous problem we already find out the flow rate and tau plug flow reactor with the volume by flow rate. So if you then volume of plug flow reactor is uh, we can easily calculate like this 7.889. So in this cal in this problem, we try to find out the batch process volume is uh, 59.3 cubic meter and CSTR 11.57 and plug flow reactor 7.89. That means uh, our recommendation is the plug flow reactor. So that uh, plug flow reactor will be uh, most suitable for this particular uh, production process. Now let me go to the other problem because other very interesting problem that we have that is uh, regarding uh, we know that enzyme has lot of application in the detergent industry particularly for the removal of a stain that we have in the in our cloth that can be removed with the help of the enzymes. I can give the example that we uh, if we have the uh, blood stain that we have in the in the cloth then if we use some protease enzyme that can remove the blood stain. Now this problem is something different because this problem we are we are we will be dealing with lipids because uh, due to presence of some kind of lipid or fat or sometimes your cloth also will be giving some kind of stain. So uh, let us see how we can solve this problem. The lipids is being investigated as the additive for uh, laundry detergent for the removal of strains from the fabrics. So the general reaction is that the fats when uh, in presence of lipids it produces fatty acid and glycerol. So this is the ester I know that you know you all know that uh, uh, fats is nothing but esters of uh, alcohol and the and the <coughs> and the fatty acid. <coughs> The Michael is maintained constant for the pancreatic lipase is 5 millimolar as 60 degree centigrade lipase is subjected to deactivation. I told you that you know that uh, deactivation is a very important characteristics 
of the enzyme that you know with the half life of uh, 8 minutes i already discussed what is half life half life means time required for reducing the half of the activity of the enzymes the fat hydrolysis is carried out in well mixed uh, batch reactor which simulate a top loading washing machine the initial fat con concentration is 45 gram moles per cubic meter at the beginning of the reaction the rate of hydrolysis is 0 0.07 millimoles per liter per second how long does it take for the enzyme to hydrolyze 80 percent of the fat presence so this we shall have to that means uh, when you talk about the removal of stain that means how long we should soak the cloth in the in the in that particular detergent so that your stain can be removed now uh, different these values so because i told you before, before also when you we you try to solve any kind of problem i request all of you please write down what is the data is given the came value is given here so this can be we can we can convert it in the com mole per cubic meter that uh, we can we can convert in this unit and uh, and uh, then uh, And this uh, this conversion, I I hope you understand that that five into ten to the power minus three gram mole per liter. Am I right? So how you convert? I told you if you want to convert in the cubic meter, so you write one cubic meter. Am I right? One cubic meter is how much? One cubic meter equal to the per cubic meter. So. Uh, uh, so you have to you have to you have to find out this uh, uh, this is one thousand liters, am I right? So uh, So anyhow, that uh, so the concentration is coming about five into ten to the power minus six uh, gram moles per cubic meter, and uh, S zero is uh, forty five gram mole per cubic meter, and uh, and and, uh, and so to eighty percent substrate is converted, so twenty percent is remaining, so point two into four five. It is coming about nine gram mole per cubic meter. Now the rate of deactivation that uh, because this is like this that you know deactivation when you when you discuss that is um, uh, the activity of the enzyme that is decreases like this. Am I right? Or uh, uh, so. Uh, uh, that, so e, e that is enzyme activity with respect to time this slope uh, this is this is equal to this is uh, rd actually because this is equal to kd into ea the enzyme concentration this is how we have find out this is rd equal to this one and uh, so enzyme deactivation will take place like this this is uh, dda -da and if we if we integrate this you will get this kind of equation and uh, and uh, and and uh, this is this is dln dln ea this ln ea equal to kd into dt am i right now if you if you integrate 0 to t and this is uh, e0 to ea0 to ea then what we will get ea equal to you can this is ln ea by a the ea equal to will come ea0 into e to the power k 
kd into t this uh, minus sign will come here okay so you can uh, we can easily find out that now uh, uh, another thing is very important that is vmax is uh, related with kcat like this uh, kcat into into ea that uh, now ea is already we determined this is equal to ea0 into e to the power kdt k1 d, dt then this is equal to vmax equal to vmax 0 uh, e to the power k t t. So, we, we, uh, we, we consider 0 stands for the initial substrate concentration. Now, the rate of change of the substrate concentration can be given like this, then this uh, we can represent it in the form of this, because the initial substrate concentration we can write like this. Now, if we integrate that value, in that integrate that particular value, that minus uh, d, ds is the Vmax uh, e to the power minus kd into d, dt. And this equation is coming like this. And uh, we know that uh, this is the kind of integration differentiation that we have, d by dx e to the power ax equal to ax. This will be a into dx this is equal to ax plus k. If we use the same thing apply here, this uh, this equation we can solve in this form. And then with this is the boundary condition we have at t equal to 0, s equal to 0, then we can we can we can put this equation like the s0 equal to this and therefore k will be equal to k I can take this side and this equal to like this. Now putting this value in this equation in the k equation here, then we can get this final equation is there. So, this equation we can modify in this form. Now, in this given problem, the V max 0 value is given and uh, T hub value is given. So, and K D value we shall have to find out and so that we can we can we can we can find out the how much substrate is converted in the con. So, T hub equal to equal to T 2 into this is this we know that T 2 into K D. The K D will be equal to what? This this value. And then if a previous equation if we put, in, if put all these values, we can find out time required for this particular reaction that uh, uh, we 80 percent uh, the fat degradation. So, uh, the, our answer to this problem is that is required 942 seconds and that uh, for the hydrolysis of 80 percent of fat. Now, another problem, similar problem we have that penicillin is inactivates the penicillin and uh, one form the molecular weight is 30,000 gram per mole has the initial active side and K K value is given, Km value is given. In response to the treatment of 5 millimolars penicillin, 1 milliliter suspension of the bacteria release about 0 0.04 microgram of enzyme. How long will it take the half of the initial amount of penicillin to be inactivated? And uh, that means uh, that means uh, you have to find out that uh, what is the time required to to uh, to remove half of the penicillin. Uh, to degrade the half of the penicillin, that is, uh, we shall have to find out. And uh, initial uh, initial penicillin concentration was five millimolars. Uh, that uh. then, what is the concentration of penicillin would cause the enzyme to react half maximum velocity? Then, then second suspension of bacteria release you know, point zero six uh, uh, micromoles per milliliter of enzyme. Will this affect the answer A B? And if so, how? how? Now, uh, initially, that it was the, point, the 0 0.04 mil microgram. Now it is 0 0.06 microgram. If it is, it is released like this. That will is going to happen. This is also per milliliter because one milliliter of cell suspension is there. And modified the penicillin acts as a competitive inhibitor. If the affinity of enzyme for penicillin and modified penicillin is the same what concentration of inhibitor reduce the rate of loss of penicillin fivefold low of penicillin 
So, you know, this is uh, this is the problem that we have. Now, we shall have to let us see how we can solve it. Uh, I hope uh, this uh, solution is given. I hope you can easily understand how it is solved. And initial pro problem is the how to what is the time required to uh, degrade the half of the penicillin. The initial penicillin concentration is uh, this micromoles. So, uh, so this is uh, this is S by two is this, and uh, velocity of reaction is this. So K K, K, K value is the given there. E zero value from the K K value we can find out the E zero value because B max equal to K K, K, K into E zero. So we, we can find out from that we can find out V max value. Once we have this, we can easily find out that. Uh, uh, the V value is this, this from the equation one. We can we can find out this V equal to point a nine eight into V max. We put this V max value here, and we find a V value. Once you have the V value, we have the half uh, the degradation. How much time is the velocity is equal to? This is equal to. Uh, we can we can we can find out this. This is uh, t minus t two. So this is not there. So t two we can we can calculate. Uh, this is uh, divided by b. So uh, then t two will be equal to say sixteen point zero two five minutes. Now next next problem that next solution that we have at. Uh, V equal to V max by two is equal to equal to K m. Therefore, with that we can easily find out because K V max value already we know. So we can easily find out that S value we find out. So we can find out what is the S value. The, the K m value from the K m value we can find out the S value. And part A deals with the time required for inactive half of the initial amount of penicillin. As seen in the solution one, this time is depend upon the initial concentration of enzyme E zero. By solving T two E zero equal to this, we get T two is this, and thus the time required for inactive half of the amount is decreased by uh, decreased by one point five percent. So if that question was that if you increase the enzyme concentration, how we are uh, how we are going to affect this system? And then part uh, other than is subtracted is the velocity at which vehicle. Is, since this parameter is independent of the initial substrate concentration, initial concentration is zero. There is no change in the substrate concentration. So, uh, so this is uh, this is uh, this is the typical problem that we have. And this is uh, then finally we can find out the inhibitor con concentration. I am not going in details, so I hope from this equation same we have as we have done before. It is similarly solved it. So I hope you can understand that this is five time this velocity. If you increase that, what will be that? That five time. Uh, so from that you can find out that. So uh, so the and final conclusion is that an inhibitor concentration. Two into ten to the power minus, we reduce the rate of loss of penicillin by five folds uh, at a l at low penicillin. So you know that is that is kind of conclusion that we have from this particular problems. So uh, in conclusion, uh, what I want to tell that in this particular lecture, I try to uh, try to discuss that how you can find out the volume. Of uh, of uh, of a of a different type of reactor batch uh, uh, CSTR and PLATPO, particularly in case of sparingly soluble substrate, and also I try to discuss uh, 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 other different aspects that uh, how uh, that life is that you know which is very much used in the detergent industry. How how it is activated because how much time is required for removal of the uh, fat uh, that you know that uh, that how we can calculate and finally we are talking about the penicillin 
deactivation of penicillin with the help of penicillin as enzyme, how it affects that uh, activity of the penicillin. So, um, I think uh, it will be better if you if you practice this problem because uh, because this required lot of practice for uh, and if you if you have any kind of problem, I will be very happy to answer it. Thank you.